We're on take four. Or take five, maybe. <laughs> this is episode three of the Peppercraft podcast. Happy New Year. Happy 2019. We are in Indiana at Mom's house. You can see her pretty Christmas tree. And we're going to do a quick episode today because Mom's sick. I have a cold. And I'm just a little sick. Not sick at all compared to Mom. So we'll start with finished objects. Finished objects. Mom's trying to knit during our episode. Like the... Who does that? Who says two ladies Everybody just knits. sit and knit? The young Everybody girl doesn't knit during her episode. Knit girls. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is Mom's finished object. It's a candle mat that she gave me for Christmas. She did it all by hand. She cut out all these shapes. And she sewed, look at the spool of thread. Look at the skeins of embroidery floss. And look all around the outside. It's How'd you cut that out? It's just a straight thing. And you wool is such a wonderful fabric. It just, you just bend it and it follows it. It's amazing. I like wool felt. I love it. And it's a candle mat, but she made me this pin cushion that sits on it perfectly. It's also handmade out of wool. And it has crushed walnut shells inside of it. She gave me the crushed wal walnut shells. I didn't tell her what it was for. I love it. I love mom. Thank you. My other finished object is something you have too. What if I didn't bring it? Your hat? I had it in my hand. I set it down somewhere. Oh my gosh. I have some finished objects here. We'll talk about hers. <laughs> this is a table runner. It's pumpkins. Um, and the special thing about this is that I quilted it with a new design, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see. It's supposed to look like oak leaves. This was a kit from Connecting Threads, and it was supposed to make a wall hanging that is three, like three by three, like nine pumpkins, which was going to be big. Like, you have to have a big wall to hang this up. So I cut it apart, and I made three table runners, and I gave one to my grandmother, and one to Kristen's mom. My best friend's mom, and one to mom. I'm and we kinda, love it. I'm kind of mad that in the kit they gave me a bunch of red fabric. Like I was gonna make a pumpkin table runner, but then I didn't have very much orange fabric. So then I saw this kit and I was like, oh, perfect. But look how many red fabrics there are. I think those look like orange. They're mostly red. Anyway, um, okay. So that we have that finished object. We haven't found the hat yet. No. That's okay. Give me my other finished object. I said, as soon as I got home, I said, oh, we have to film right away because um, before we give away all the crafts that we made as Christmas gifts. And mom said, I already wrapped all of mine. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the edge. How the sheep line up. Can you see that? And this inch does too. All the sheepy line up. There's this... no bodiless, headless sheep. Is that not wonderful? This is a fluke, a fluke uh, gift. So I was at the local, well, I went to the local fabric store to get some fabric for another project, and I was walking by, and this is like twill. They, our fabric it's store really has nice. a ton of like fabric types. So I was walking by this, and I saw all these twills, which were beautiful, but I don't use twill. But then this one had sheep on it, and they're gray and pink, and I was like, gotta have it. So I just bought half a yard, and I bought half a yard of lining, and I really wanted interfacing that I could iron to it, because it's kind of floppy. Mom doesn't like floppy bags. And they only had sew in, so then I was like, now I have to quilt it. Um, so I just quilted like X's. But I was following a pattern for a bag that was gonna be like tiny, and then I just like used my whole half yard, and it worked out on those edges. I can't even believe it. I can't either. I, I love couldn't. It. I couldn't have done it if I tried. I love it. Anyway, this will be my other finished object: a tote bag and that hat. Shall we start with what we're working on? That's all of our finished objects? I think so. <gasps> the quilt. Oh, no, there's a quilt. Mm. The oh. quilt came, my husband deer hunts, we eat venison, so it doesn't go to waste. And my daughter sent him a quilt for the opening of hunting season. I also found that. Ta-da! This is a pattern from Jordan Fabrics called, ooh, I don't even know what it's called. It's based on this fabric that is, it's a Robert Coughlin fabric that has these stripes and you just cut squares and cut them in half and then set them, kind of offset them. 
it made some really wonky shapes kind of I don't know about the shapes but I quilted it in a spiral which I really like and I kept trying to name this quilt after a CJ box novel because we read these CJ box it's like a game warden solving crimes I don't know but all of the titles of his books they're like hunting season whatever opening day and I quilted this in a giant spiral which I've never done before and it was really cool and then after I had done that I got the next CJ box book and the title was vicious circle <laughs> that was perfect Show the back the back's pretty too the back is really um, helpful in hiding in hiding quilting mistakes <laughs> non-intentional customizations. I'd never done a spiral before, so I didn't probably didn't baste it well enough. I got some pleats in the back, but it you has cannot this like see them. Even linear like when I'm two inches camo, away from it, I cannot see it. Which meant I didn't see it until it was like three or four rings away from it, so I couldn't fix them. I mean, I could have ripped it all out and fixed it, but I had to get this quilt done in time for opening day. And you gotta do he it. Loves it. It's a lucky charm. Yep. We have some lucky charm <laughs> items in this house. Okay. And I found the hat. <laughs> This is my other finished object that is still in the house. This is a hat. The pattern is actually a colorwork pattern um, by Wendy from Nerves Brewing Company. And I made it all in one color. It's the Winter Funderland, like F-U-N-D-E-R-L-A-N-D -E uh, pattern. And I'd made the stocking. It makes a Christmas stocking. But I wanted to make the hat because she redid it to make it a ponytail hat with three openings. So you can see it's kind of braided and the openings. Because I made Sarah Jane a ponytail hat before, but the ponytail opening is near the top. And I don't think she cares it's for that very that top. well. you got to be real aggressive with the ponytail placement. So now it's she great. Has, so now she has options. This one's and a little. It's got a little Latinian braid I love this around edge. it. So, and I like that the brim is like this. Yeah, it's a turned under brim. So, and the yarn is from Knitter's Brewing Company also. I like this color. Rocking Red Granny Ale, I think. It's a little, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it's a little tonal. Here. Yeah, tonal is a good word. <laughs> okay, those are our finished objects. Whew, we found them all. <laughs> okay, what are you working on? Okay, whips. The first one, the one on top is a Christmas quilt top that is made from old fabric from leftovers okay this is it's just little it's like a lap size quilt and I used a log cabin ruler from creative grids um, and I don't like that's an easy ruler to <laughs> use but some weird stuff happened like I don't know why they're not lining up look the Christmas lights show through it looks like your quilt is sparkly <laughs> Good one. it's magic quilt it sparkles Forget about them not lining up. It sparkles. The end. <laughs> um, so I was going to try to use up all of this old Christmas fabric on this quilt and make like a pieced back. But then there was Minky on sale. That was like a cream color. And it's so nice to have a snuggly quilt back. So I bought, I bought some cream colored Minky. We'll see if it gets quilted. It's no rush. We have another quilt in our house that's made out of the same fabric. That's why we had so much, so much of this Christmas fabric. That's a whip. Um, this is a whip that I just made when I got home to visit mom and dad. I went to the fabric store and bought this. It's gonna smell good because my brother's girlfriend gave me like a lavender sachet. <laughs> uh, and I put it in here. Okay, this is a Bargello quilt pattern that I made before in different colors. And I made it for my friend who um, I worked with in Joshua Tree National Park, which is in the Mojave Desert. And she just got a job in Hawaii. So she's moving to, she moved to Hawaii. So I'm at the fabric store and I'm picking out what I think are desert colors. Like we have these pinky peanut butter colored rocks. And then we have like this pale green cactus and yucca and then we have like dark green creosote bush and we have the sky and the tinge pink and then we have like the night sky with like blues and greens and I was like so proud of myself for picking out this desert quilt and mom goes oh it looks like Hawaii <laughs> <laughs> it's going to Hawaii so I thought it looked kind of oceany with the blues and yeah. that 
desert quilt fail, but it's gonna work out. It's yeah. going to Hawaii. It'll be fine. So if the powers in that be open our government again, you can go to Joshua Tree and see the desert, and then go to Hawaii National Park and see which one you think the quilt looks like. <laughs> yeah, you can compare and contrast. And here's the lavender that it smells like. Oh, it smells wonderful. It smells really good. Okay, this is another whip that we talked about on the last episode. The Twister Quilt. So I bought that Twister Ruler. And then on my drive home from Indiana to California, I went to this cute, this really cute little quilt shop. Um, Painted Desert Quilts right outside Petrified Forest National Park. Petrified Forest National Park is awesome. If you're ever driving west, you can cut right through the park. And I totally recommend it. So I bought, I always do this, I saw a layer cake, which is a stack of 10 inch pre-cut squares, and it had, the top square was this one. This was the top square of fabric I love that. on the layer cake. I loved it. I was like, and then you just flip through the corner and it was all these bright colors, and I was like, yeah, give me it. A layer cake is like $40, like it's not cheap, but you get a lot of fabric. But then I didn't like the other, I mean, once I got, like, what is this? I don't know about this. I like it. This is kind of, meh. This, which I also really like. I love this one. I like, really? Yeah, I uh, love that one. Oh. <laughs> we have different tastes. This one I really like, but not, I mean, look at it next to this. So the layer cake, which always happens to me when I get a charm pack or a layer cake, is I'm like, not, not as good as I thought it was going to be. But I did learn how to use the twister tool. It's very, uh, it's easy to use, but you make, you make a whole quilt top. Like you sew, I sew all the layer cake squares together and it makes this giant quilt. And then you use the tool and you cut up, like you put the border on and everything. You can see that this blue, that was the border. And then you chop it all up and you sew it back together. It's quick because it's just squares, but it's pretty. It takes a lot of cutting. That's what, and the last one. Burr, burr, burr. This is an impulse buy. I was at the store where we got our sewing machines, SoTech, in Evansville. And they have just a little bit, well, actually they have more fabric than I remember them having. They had a quilt hanging on the wall that was made from a panel. This is part of the panel that I cut up. It was this, the panel is by Marsha Durse for Wyndham Fabrics, and it's called Treasure Cove, and it's, it's really interesting. I can't believe I've never seen this fabric before. And then they had a quilt hanging on the wall that they'd made called Pirate's Lure. And we were about to go do a escape room <clears throat> called Pirates on the Ohio. Pirates on the Ohio. The so Ohio River runs right by here. I was a little bit obsessed with pirates and this panel. And so I just bought a bunch of it. And I've been making improv. This is my first time improv piecing. I've been making improv log cabin blocks with fabric from the line and some fabric that I got from Let's Sew, which is another fabric store. Uh, and then I'm just going to put them one improv, one solid from the panel. It doesn't, like, doesn't it look like more work went into that? It's just a square from the panel. This is a square from the panel. They're all different. Okay, these are two are remarkably alike. <laughs> Most of them are very different from each other. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and that's my improv log cabins. And that is all the whips that I have here. Okay, whips for me. And I don't think I will show them all because it might talk, take too long. I just joined Harry Potter House Cup on Ravelry. And I She's got, in Gryffindor. I got sorted to Gryffindor, which I did not expect at all. Um, so I have cast on some things to hopefully get me some points. Um, I'm also doing the Pigskin Party Knit Along at Down Cellar Studio Podcast. And she just won the NFL Contest NFL on Knitter's Knitting Contest Brewing Company. For Knitter's Brewing. You're looking at the champion. Week <laughs> 17... And regular season. Yes, yes. She's going to get six, six dishcloths. <laughs> six. For Winnie. I am. I'm excited. Oh um, I'm a Colts fan. I live in Indiana, and so I'm a Colts fan, and I picked them, and they came on strong at the end of the year and made the playoffs. So, lucky for me. But what I cast on, um, 
is something for two things. This is going to be a Habitude hat. It's Habitude hat number six. I also have part of a Habitude hat. That's part of a Habitude hat number five. Um, this was some old yarn that I bought in 2008. To be yeah, it's the Patton Stretch Sock from 2008. I was gonna make leggings for her and they never did get done. And she decided she didn't want them because it was only like 11 years later. So I was living in Alaska and I needed leggings. Now I live in California and I don't need knitted leggings. So um, I ripped all that out and that got me points for Pigskin Party. And now I'm using up Old Stash and that gets me points for Slay the Stash. I did it every month in 2018 and I didn't win a prize, so I don't win everything. You win a lot of prizes, Mom. But I'm gonna do it again for 2019. So every month I have to knit all of a skein and this month I'm gonna knit all of this skein and it's going to go towards Slay the Stash. Look and at this strategy though. She has two going. I do because, because see one has to be at the one has to be knit completely in the month. You have to take a new skein of yarn and use it all up. So you have to finish this in a month, but then you can use whatever's left to, for a whip. So every month I have a little bit left and I do something. So once I finish this one, I will go back and finish this one and I will have six of these hats made. I've given one to my son. I've given... He's wearing it right now. <laughs> he might be. I am going to give one to my nephew whose birthday is in February and he works roofing houses so that should be something he can use. And then I sent one out to Old Town in San Diego to somebody who works there. They sell hats to raise money. Um, and, I'm, and I gave a couple to the church, like the Angel Tree, Angel Tree at church. So I'm still working on those. And my other New Year's cast on is um, a red hat. I have a lot of old red yarn. This is Cascade Echo Plus. It's really old too. Um, I made a scarf a long, long time ago and I had a lot left. So I'm just knitting hats. This is gonna be um, just my own creation, a ribbed brim and then a stockinette cap and I'm giving those to my daughter for her to share with people on her search and rescue team because they have to wear red on the head. So that is in my Prairie Bag Works bag which is really pretty. So there are those two new cast ons. Now for old stuff. Oh I forgot. What? You finished that. Remember last episode when you were going to slay the stash with that Sock blank? Yes, I did. She finished it. It's really pretty. We don't have it here, but you can look on our Ravelry page. It's amazing. I am doing Project Peace 2018. That starts December 1st, and there's always a new pattern. Um, and I didn't do it last year, but I did it the year before, and I like the patterns. They're a little bit meditative. This is, um, the fiber is um, called Seed, and it's... Um, But the theme, cool. you can tell there's panels of seed stitch here. And then in between the panels of seed stitch, there's panels of flying geese. There's three panels of flying geese. And they stand for order, peace, and I don't remember what the third one is. But one little thing that I thought was neat was see the diagram. Every geese you write something that you want to be at peace with. So uh, I wrote that I wanted to be peace with my to-do list, peace with um, my flaws, peace with my colleagues, and just a little meditative thing. Um, it runs from December 1st to December 21st. I am not, I find it more peaceful to not try to be done by December 21st, to just knit as I go along. And I got this little piece um, enamel pin came with my yarn. Isn't that nice? I think I ordered the yarn from Scout Company. But um, it's been fun. I 
do about two rows a month, so I think I'll finish that. Two rows a month, two rows a night. The I was going to say, it was a slow yeah, process. I think I got 48 more rows to go, so 24 days. Whether I finish it this month, it has an I-cord bind off, and then I use the provisional cast on, and I'll have to pick up those stitches and do an I-cord there too. So that takes some time. I've done a I-cord bind off before, and it's I really like the look, and I don't find it challenging, but it does take a long time, so patience there. Now this I plan to finish this month. This is in a bag my daughter made me. <laughs> and this is the 15 Minutes of Warmth Cow. And I got this um, from Fiber Knit Dye Works. And it's got uh, their flowers. There's going to be three sets of them. And um, my, I am not real thrilled with my color work. There's long floats. And it, the tension isn't really good. It's fine. But, um, but it's, it's fine. I am pretty close to starting the third. There's going to be three of these color work sections. So I'm pretty close to starting the third section of that. And then I think I have about seven more of the stripes to do. I do a stripe a night. And um, then I have to kitchener it together. But I think it'll, I think it'll look pretty good. Oh, I thought it was supposed to go like a... Like a big, chunky turtleneck. Like this will go to this. Uh, I was going to put it on. Oh, like a cow. Like yeah, <laughs> no, no. This is, um, like that. this was designed by Sarah Jordan. And it is a takeoff of, um, oh, the artist, um, Andy Warhol. He's what? Andy Warhol. He said he's from Pittsburgh and she designs things based in Pittsburgh. And um, he did the chicken soup can. Yes, he did the chicken soup can. And he said in the future everybody will be famous for 15 minutes. So she did the 15 minutes of warmth cow. Oh. There's the author of the pattern and Andy Warhol. So I like her the patterns. I've done um, the Bridge Walker hat by her too. And uh, I gave that to my niece and she really liked it. So if you're from the Pittsburgh area, that's a fun thing. What else am I doing? I am also, um, this is something, I bought this yarn eons ago, eons and eons ago. And from a big box store. And I'm just doing a feathered and fan pattern. Oh gosh, I do not need a baby afghan. But this pattern is really, show it the other side. The other side's prettier. This, it's really meditative. Knit a row, purl a row, knit a row. And then the fourth row is the knit two together. Six times and yarn over knit one, yarn over knit one. Six times to make the feather and fan. And it's just really meditative. I like it. When we were in high school, mom was like, <coughs> I'm going to make a baby Afghans for all my nieces and nephews, children. She has, what, seven on one side and three on the other side? And none of us have babies. <laughs> <laughs> so, the other thing I hope to finish um, is a kit my mother gave me last year for Christmas. It's called... Amaranta, Amaranto, and I'm coming along. I was doing a stripe every week, and I kind of got behind with Christmas, but I still think I can get it finished. Um, I have to weave in ends, but it starts out with black, goes to lighter gray, white, does the green, and now I'm back to the white, so I just have that end to do. I like it. And um, I think that's all the works in progress I'm going to share right now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more. There are. <laughs> but that's enough. Okay, we did finish job. We're not going to play a game. We're going quick. We're going quick. But I do have something for you. I was going to give this to you for Christmas, but then I made that other bag. So now I'm going to give it to you now. Okay. Da -da -da. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 
a pack of my yarn. Don't you love that? I love that. Okay, I left the price tag on because okay. I have to tell you the story. You got a deal. I did get a deal. I was at Joan Fabrics in the clearance section and I saw this bag. It says I'll pack of my yarn. It's white. I love it. Mom does not need any more bags, but it was on clearance for $3.47. Regular price, $8. And I got to the checkout and the girl goes, oh, this is past its date. And I was like, okay, like, I don't care. I'll buy it anyway. And she was like, no, I can't sell it to you. Like, I can't charge you. And I was like, what? And she was like, I can just give it to you for free. I was like, I'll pay for it. She's like, no. At, she was like, at other stores, apparently at other craft stores that this woman has experience working at, if something is past date, they can't give it. Like, they can't, they're not allowed to sell it. They have to, like, send it. I don't know what they do with it. But she was like, I'll just give it to you. So it's free. Cool. I know. <laughs> what a deal indeed. Okay. I have a gift for you, too. Oh, boy. So, this year for Christmas, I gave my daughter happy boxes oh or gosh. bags. So, it's a monthly box or bag curated by moi of things that she and her puppy might like. Oh my That's gosh. January. This is the whole one? That's January. Oh my gosh. You already got December. Okay. First, we have a dog toy that I recognize. <laughs> it's a llama. Mom's dog also has this toy and loves it. So I'm sure people will love it. Ooh, some new socks. All of her socks have holes in them. Bomba socks. Lots of holes. Not my hand knit socks. Oh. My commercially purchased socks get holes in them. My hand knit socks are fine. No holes in there. Ooh. That's to give away. A hat. So I work on a search and rescue team, the park's search and rescue team, and we're supposed to have bright colors, including red on our heads, so we have bright red hats. You want to know what pattern that is? Yes. The people want to know. The people want to know what pattern that is. I had to modify it, but it's the wrap. Raps a hat. Um, I used thicker yarn and I couldn't do, there was supposed to be another whole section like this, which would have made it really big. I think I know exactly who needs this hat, actually. Good one, Mom. Ooh. And then here we have some champagne gummy bears. Hello. Happy New Year. All right, here, bust those out. And a bundle of, oh my gosh, and a pattern. This is Literary Fabric by Heather Givens of Crimson Tate. The footnote quilt. I'm reading the back, I can do that later. And a template. I love this pattern because look at how, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. It makes like an optical illusion of circles. Do you see this? Yeah, I see circles. Yeah. But I know they're not there. I <laughs> I really like it. I think it's gonna be challenging because a lot of points. And <laughs> a bundle of literary fabric. Oh mom, I love it so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Louise library cards. This is my favorite one. Well, this one has the border. I'm getting better at borders. It's got a border of books, but then it looks like library cards. I love it. Good. Thanks, Mom. Now we have a crafting fail for you. What? Last time we talked to you. This is not a fail. We were going to dye yarn, and we had a kit called Drunk Yarn, and we were going to make the sangria colorway. And we did. Yes. You were supposed to make one that was light, and we made one that is light. Okay, so you have, you make the dye, and then you have water, and you add one third of the dye to the water. And then the yarn, and you put the yarn in, and it sucks it up. Isn't it pretty? I liked it. Then you added, maybe it wasn't a third, you added significantly more dye to the water. And then you put the yarn I think it in. was the opposite. What I think we started with the darkest and uh, then we added water to we it. Put to light all it. The, okay, 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 you're right. We put all the dye in and then we put water. Yeah. Okay. So it, it diluted it. So this was the darkest. Oh, this one. 
Um, this is the darkest. Hold up the lightest. And we've got the darkest and the lightest. But the middle is the same as the dark. I don't think we did it that way, though, because I remember at the end, I was trying to leave it in forever because I was trying to get it darker and darker. And no, darker. after we did the light and took it out, we put the dark back in to try to oh, make it right. darker. Yeah, we put the dark back in. I don't even know which one's darker. Mm, it's not a fail. No. It's not like the yarn disintegrated in the water. <laughs> okay. You can still make something with it. I will make something with it. I can make a red hat. <sighs> yeah. What are those? I went to I went to the place where we got our sewing machines. Why did I go there? I don't know why I went there. I definitely did not need anything from there. I bought that pirate fabric and they had fat quarter bundles, grab bag, two for five dollars. Usually one fat quarter is like three fifty, especially if it's a boutique. I got two bundles for five dollars. And now we're gonna open it. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Random. Grab bag. Okay. Ooh, I got solids. Oh, I like that brown. What'd you get? I got Ooh. patterns. <laughs> oh, okay, I like this one. I got this a brown. One. This is very useful. I got purple. I just made a purple quilt. But now I have more purple. I got this. This will go on your quilt. That's pretty. That you're making right now. I got a batik. I got yellow. I think I got the same yellow as you did. No, it's different yellow. Oh, okay. Look, it's got like lines. Yeah. yeah. We'll go together. And I got red. I got a red. Bingo bongo. My red's got a pattern to it. I think that's pretty. I like that pattern. And I got a blue polka dot. It's mm -hmm. simple. It'd make a good background. I've got oh, kind great. of a lavender. Ooh, I like that one. That was my least favorite. Of course, she likes it best. And then the one I like, she probably doesn't like it all. It's, it's got words on it. I like words. Dream, yesterday. What? Cultivate, joy. That worked out a lot better than I expected it to. Only one dud. <laughs> Is this the dud? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. What? Sun, abundance. Gratitude, joy. I like it. Yay, we grabbed back. That was a deal. Cool. I swear, if I had gone and bought just this fat quarter, this is a batik, $3.50. And I got this one too. Dang. Cool. Um, okay, that was exciting. Thanks, Mom. Okay. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about new stuff um, because I've been buying stuff. You know, you should always wait until around December if they're, if you want to add to your stash because all the indie dyers have these big sales and it's really... But then you feel, I bought all this fabric like the week before Christmas and I was like, why am I buying stuff for myself yeah. right before Christmas? Well, I... Um, I did it anyway. <laughs> oh, and the other thing I want to talk about, oh I have gosh. in this bag, I did um, an advent calendar. I did the fiber knit dye work one and... Every day um, there was a thing of yarn, and some days there was little um, prizes. And she sent the color name and the fabric it's on. I'm really excited. I like them all, um, except there was two months, two days, that were on um, singles, they're single ply, merino silk, which isn't my favorite and won't go with the others for what I'm making, but there was somebody in the group that really liked that, and so I'm going to send it to her, Aww. and she's gonna send me something else, so it, it's a good deal. And I'm planning on, uh, see one month I got uh, some soap. Mm. Can you see the soap? One month, that was the, I think that's one of the my favorite colors. But I am planning on doing the Manic Panic Scarf Mini, no, it was the Manic Panic Cow. It's a Mini Mania Scarf, and it's like a linen stitch, and I'm going to do it bigger to do a wrap. And I'm hoping to turn that in for a mission on the Harry Potter house cut. So that was new. 
this Harry Potter situation is throwing a whole new, adding a whole new angle. Then, um, Fiber Mint had yarn 50% off, but they were just grab bags again. So this is a grab bag I got. I don't think I'm going to get Yarn into... grab bags are clear? Like, I, yeah, like I, I didn't know what was in it. Oh, she mailed it's from it to online. Me. Okay. Yeah. I was like, that's not so fair. So that's not grab Fortune bag. Fire, Fire is this one. I like it. And this is Speckled Anomaly, and it's got sparkle in it. And then this one is uh, Crazy Eye. Probably those two are my favorite. But I, I think I'll use all this. I think all that's usable for me. I also got um, from Bead Sisters for a three-color wrap. And um, I had seen these. I'd been looking at these all year. She put them together. And I've got a lot of yarn for a cap, uh, wrap, and I didn't need another. And when she put them on sale, it's like, oh, I'm getting them. The middle one is called Chocolate Raspberry. And it's my favorite. That looks like somebody with more experience did the sangria kit. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. Much more experience than us. But I'm happy with these. I don't know when I'll get to them, but um, I'm really happy. And then... Oh, in the, I put my Advent kit in the bag I got from Sarah Jane, but the kit came with a bag, so that was kind of nice. Ooh, that's a good bag. Yeah. And it's got pocket. Ooh. Is that mag a metal? Oh, it's a magnet. Yeah, so I think that's nice. That was nice. But I also, uh, the Down Cellar Studio, um, a lot of stuff over there. There it is. The Down Cellar Studio hat, Pigskin Party, has people do um, exclusive items, and this was the Fiber Nips exclusive item for the 2018 Pigskin Party, and I really like it. But I have knitted myself a lot of socks. I don't need any more socks. Um, but you know what this could be used for? I can do a sock arm sweater where you do the sleeves and the striping sock uh, arm. And then I bought three skeins of the brown for the body. So I don't know when I'll ever do a sock yarn sweater, but I just really like that. And wow, Mom. Yes. I think I got that on her Black Friday sale. So that's my new stuff. I've got plenty to keep me busy and hopefully I'll get points for Gryffindor. Roar, lions, yay. <laughs> I was gonna show this thread kit that mom got me as my new stuff, but then I got a whole bag of new stuff. <laughs> Look at all this thread though, wow. This was in my December happy box. It's so funny that there are all these subscription services. We don't need subscription services. I don't. <laughs> I have you. It's perfect. I love it, Mom. When are you going to come visit me? In May. Okay. Mom's going to come to California in May. I'm going to try to get these quilt tops quilted. At least one of them. Maybe the... What's that called? Twister. The twister quilt should be quilted by then. And she's gonna have some knitting projects to show. I may be doing a quilt project too because Sir Jane gave me a quilt pattern that you don't have to measure very much and you don't have to hit that barely one four seam line all the time. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so we wish you a happy 2019. Happy healthy new year. Bye-bye. Bye. Still knitting? Still knitting. Knit on. Okay. Oh, we should flip it around so the we can see the image. Oh yeah. Cut. <laughs> I was like, why can't is this so hard? I can't see anything. Okay.
Take two. <laughs> Episode three of the Peppercraft podcast. <laughs> this is a darling pincushion tomato that is homemade. Look, she even hit the bottom. It's amazing, Mom. I love it. Uh oh. <laughs> Should we go? No. Okay. Hello. Hello. This is take three. Wait, we're going to do take four. Now go back and see if that picked up the sound good. <laughs> okay. Because I hate podcasts.